gonna check out this Genius Nicer Dicer Plus. This is really cool. This comes with tons of blades and stuff. So we have not taken it out of the box yet. Well, we've taken it out of the box. We haven't unpacked it. So we will open it and we will see what's inside. So here's what comes in the box. You have your top lid. You haven't checked it out yet. And all the attachments and everything are inside. So pop this off. This does have a really nice little silicone seal around here. So make sure when you put it back on, you'll have to put a little extra pressure to push down to get the locks to latch in, or the little, yeah, the little locks to latch in place. We will check these all out and see how they work. So there's a nice little cover for your grater too. That's really cool. Comes with a little peeler, mandolin blade, and all the different types of blades that you can use. We'll check out a couple and see what, what we can find out. So here is your little cover for the mandolin slicer so you don't cut yourself. You put your food on here and then you run this back and forth. We'll check that out. Not quite sure what this one's for, but we'll, we'll find out. And also comes with a little DVD probably to show you how to use it. So that's pretty cool because there's tons of options for this and you'll want to know how to use every single one of them. So your mandolin slicer here has a nice little cover too for the blade. That's pretty cool to help keep, protect it so you don't cut yourself. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so inside of your lid you have this really cool little thing and this is to help get everything out of all the little um, blades. So it'll help clean it and push all the food through because you don't want to use your hands because that would hurt. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we're going to switch this around because this is more for like onions to slice them. And they're a little bit softer than a potato. All I have is a potato and some zucchini and um, I have a potato, zucchini, and an apple. So, hey, we're gonna try a potato on here. See how it works. There. As you can see, diced up my potato. Let's try another little piece. And there you go, there's your diced potatoes. I would kind of cut them into slices first. I wouldn't try to use a whole potato because I don't think that's gonna work. But there's your potato. Okay, so we're gonna try the slicer right here. Put a potato in it. Pull it out to show you. Look at that, perfectly sliced potatoes, the same size. Don't, you don't wanna use a whole potato, you wanna cut it into sections, because obviously, you know, that would be kind of, Nah, that's not gonna work. But look at that, sliced potatoes, that easy. Just nice and even for even cooking. That's really great. Let's switch this around on this side. More potatoes, yes, that's just what I have. So then you have your nice, look at that, that easy. Then you have your nice thick chunks for potato soup. That would be really great. Look at no, no nothing. I mean, that's gonna cook very evenly. So that's really cool. We'll try a little slice of potato and see if it'll go through it. I'm kind of guessing it's not gonna work. Oh, it did, whoa. Well, I'm amazed, <laughs> cool. There you go, that's what kind of potato that makes. Just don't use big slices, just use smaller portions. Okay, so we have this little section here. I don't really think it's gonna core, it's gonna get through an apple core, but we'll try a little piece of potato and see what it does. But still, if you wanted to make, you know, wedge for like roasted potatoes, that's what that one does. It works really well. These work really well. Just don't put too much in at once. Just use a little common sense. It's not complete steel. It is plastic and it will break, but it works really well. And this is going to speed up your time in the kitchen. It's going to save you time cooking because it's all going to cook even. And it's dishwasher safe. Just throw it in the dishwasher and clean it up. So let's see what else we have here. It even comes with a nice little grater. Okay, so I have some cheese here. I'm not gonna do all of it, but we'll just see how well it works. It works really well. Don't need to see, oh, don't need to see more than that. And then it's all inside. Nice and neat, you don't have to worry about making a mess. So there's your grater, you can use that for cabbage, you know, anything, just chocolate. Yes, chocolate, it's always good. So anything. So let's try the mandolin slicer. This is what I am hoping for. This is like my favorite thing ever. Love these. So 
put this on. I have my zucchini here that I used earlier. So you don't need the holder when you have a huge piece like this, but when you get down to the smaller part, you're gonna want to put this on top and it goes over top of this, and then you just slide it back and forth so you don't cut yourself. But I don't need it right now with this, so let's see. Okay, so let's check that out. Look at that, I mean, how awesome. This works really well, really fast. I like the container, you can store everything in it. Look how thin those are. It would make awesome potato chips with um, with, the, with the potato, obviously. Great for salads, for cucumbers. You're supposed to even be able to use sausage in it. So let's try that, but I'm gonna clean everything out first. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have some sausage and I'm gonna see if this will work because I'm not sure if it will or not. So, kind of. I'm going to have to be in front of the camera because it's just kind of awkward. Because you know this is like one of the, I hate slicing this. Just be careful when you get down. Look at that. It's almost shaved even. That's probably a little bit too thin. Well it's too bad you can't adjust it and make it a little higher, but still. Look at that. I mean, I've never had a slicer that would slice meat. Pretty cool. So this is a really cool item. Not kidding, it does everything. This is really, really neat. You could use endless things. Just use some common sense when you use it and don't put too much stuff in there. It's gonna speed up your time and save you time, but you don't wanna try to do too much at once. It's still gonna take a little bit of a, you know effort. Not really an effort, because this takes no effort to do, really. So, but look at that, sliced meat, awesome. Works really well. So what a cool object, I highly recommend it.